Kevin Morris Sr., bro, Sam. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry that I'm late. I just got caught in traffic. Really? I remember you were with somebody else. Julie? It doesn't matter. Looks like you've already moved on. I guess I was naive to think we ever had a chance of getting back together. Get back together? You're the one that pushed me away. And if I remember correctly, you were so consumed with having a baby that you totally forgot about us. But if you want the truth, we were done long before that, and you know it. There is nothing left between us. Actually, there is one thing. I'm pregnant. You're... What are you talking about? How... We haven't even... Ugh, you didn't. I'm sorry, Sam. Are you? I always knew you wanted to have a baby more than you wanted us. But now, I know that's true. <sighs> hey, what's going on? Miles told me about the job. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It does. That's why I just got off the phone with your new boss. Seems like a nice guy. I'm sorry, you did what? I told him that there was a miscommunication between us and that you would absolutely be taking this job. I can't. Even though I really want this job, I wouldn't be able to be a great father. Especially not being all the way in San Francisco. I know. And that's why I'm going with you. We're a package deal. As much as that probably doesn't appeal to you right now. Are you serious? I know our marriage is over. And I know that's for the best, but I can't imagine my life without you. Yesterday, I was reminded of the first day we were I can't believe you do that for me. I know. How, is it, how depressing is that? <laughs> You're my best friend, Sam. You've always been, and I just like to get back to how we started, if you'll let me. I'd like that. So, how did your mom take it, though, when you told her you'd be moving to California? She says she hates New York in the winters, and she sees that. <laughs> okay, then. You want to dance? <laughs>